Hi Internet, let's start. The capital of Iceland is Reykjavik, which literally translates to a Bay of Smokes or Smoky Bay, which is reasonable since the country has many thermal hotspots and hot springs. During all seasons and spring included, Icelanders rush and spring into these hot springs, enjoying themselves in 35 to 45 Celsius hot water. And look, Iceland ends with land, so do these countries. So let's choose this one. Thailand got its name from Thai word Thai, meaning a free man. The flag is similar to Costa Rican. In Costa Rica, the sun rises and sets at the same time all year round, since it is located at the equator. Days are equal at the equator. But do not mix equator and Ecuador, since Ecuador is basically equator's etymological baby. Because equator goes through the country, the country was named Ecuador. Besides that, Ecuador is the home of famous Panama hats. Although they are called Panama hats, they come from Ecuador, and not Panama, which is located right here. And our dear Ecuador also has Galapagos Islands. Yeah, the ones where Charles Darwin went and slowly developed his theory of evolution. He published in 1859. The same year, Oregon was accepted as the 33rd state. Apparently, plenty of oregano grows in Oregon, or plenty of hurricanes happen since it was speculated that the name comes from Canadian French Uragan, meaning a hurricane or storm. Beside the Silicon Valley in California, Oregon established in 1970s the Silicon Forest, a group of companies dealing with technological development. Oregon is also the biggest US producer of lumber. If the moisture content of lumber is below 25%, it can be conserved for centuries, but if it is above 25% and air is present, fungi corrode the lumber. Lumba equals timber. They are basically synonyms. Tamba is a specific quality of a certain sound. With tamba, you identify which instrument is playing. Is it a piano, guitar, or a saxophone? Saxophone was invented in 1846 by a guy named Adolf Sax. Besides saxophone, his other inventions are saxo tuba, sax horn, sax tuba, and bass sax horn. He almost died from lip cancer. But later, in 1894, he died from poverty. Around 3 billion people, almost half of the earth, live in poverty, and 1.5 billion in extreme poverty. One dollar banknotes represent 45% of the whole currency production. This means that out of all the dollar bills in the world, just under half of them are ones. United States are the 12th richest in the world, while at number one is Qatar, as the richest country in the whole world. And by the way, this color, yeah, it's called maroon. Rico means rich in Spanish, and Puerto Rico means rich port in Spanish, since it was filled with plenty of gold when the Europeans discovered it. Puerto Rico has been granted a free citizenship to America since 1917, so Puerto Ricans can move freely in the United States. The country was originally named San Juan Bautista, and the capital Ciudad de Puerto Rico by Columbus in 15th century, but that later changed to Puerto Rico and San Juan in 1898, and then later in 1931, USA changed the name to Puerto Rico. Beside the normal American borders we are all familiar with, America has additional 16 insular territories, 10 of which are uninhabited or temporarily inhabited by scientists. You see these flags? Yeah, only the colors are flipped. Puerto Rico has tons of cool things there. An island, flowers, and frogs. Common cocky. Look at these cute guys. They got their name by the sounds they make when they made call. This call is called canto in Spanish. Bel canto is a style of operatic singing, originating in Italy during the 18th century. The style was characterized by precise use of voice, connectedness of notes, musical phrases, and the use of smaller ranges, rather than big ones. One of the rock stars of this style was an Italian composer, Gioacchino Rossini. And, you know, this guy actually wrote this. He was a leap year baby, a leapling or leaper, born on 29th of February in 1792, the same year the French anthem was composed by this guy here, who just like Adolf Sachs, unfortunately died in poverty. Although Giacchino suffered from depression and neurasthenia, he was a jolly boy and an enjoyer of good food. He retired at the age of 37, after writing 39 operas and making tons of money. He died in 1868 of pneumonia in France, in a part of Paris called Passy. 
where in 17th century hot springs were discovered and tons of spas built. And who knew Joaquino enjoyed the same things Icelanders 2000 kilometers away enjoyed? Adolf and Lil left their marks on humanity and the history, yet died quietly uncared for. Similar behaviors, lives, experiences and situations secretly and quietly connect us, yet we are unaware of the interconnectedness of this whole machine called a planet. These connections will unfortunately never be fully discovered and explained. It is up to us to hunt them down and capture them. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao!